your trading purpose? Hi, it's Charlie giving you the weekend video. And uh, I was having a discussion with a trader yesterday and we were talking about various things and we got onto the sort of the subject of a trading purpose. Now this trader, um, he wants to, you know, he does take uh, an income, so to speak. Uh, I think maybe once every six months he and the money that he draws from his trading account goes towards topping up his overall income. So for him, when he's trading, he needs to have a turnover, a certain amount of turnover of trading. He can't hold on to his trades for for too long. He doesn't want to necessarily be holding on to trades for, let's say, three or four months because he needs that you know, that income, so to speak, that he might be taking twice a year. And if he's holding on to trades for long periods, if you hold on for a long time and then that trade doesn't work out, it's not helping him with him um, compounding his account. So he needs to have smaller trades that he turns over a little bit more frequently. Okay, so maybe up to a month or so. So he wants, he wants, that's his um, approach. Now, so we were, it got us talking about um, purpose and um, so he's quite, he like, he's quite analytical and so he quite likes to be able to process the numbers in his trading because he was talking to me and he's saying well what is it that you, you know how is it your you know your you know he knows my approach but um but I said we were talking about um following certain kinds of processes and stuff in trading and I said to him look my my goal from trading is not about making money which sounds ridiculous that is the end product of course is that the byproduct is to make money from trading that's why everybody gets into trading but what i mean is that trading for me is more of, is much more is much deeper than just making money it's the love of trading the fact that i enjoy what i do i love the challenge so for me I love sitting at my desk, doing all of my analysis at weekends and in the week, and looking for all of my intermarket analysis, different um, different correlations, um, different time frames. Obviously, being aware of the, the fundamentals as well, and then bringing it all together, and then and then forming a, a trading view. And so, I get a, a huge amount of enjoyment. Um, not just from doing the analysis, then you've got the trades themselves. And when you're in a trade and the trade's going against you or, you know, and, and you're maybe having a, a certain number of losers at uh, times or that you're in a trade and it's actually quite painful that you're in a load of profits and your gut wants you to, to, um, to bank it. And yet, you know, you've got to hold on for whatever, let's say a higher level because you've got a target actually up here, but you're your guts wanting you to come out here. I love all of that, that constant challenge of pitting myself against the market. The money is the byproduct of all of that, all of that challenge. So what I wanted to ask you was, what's your purpose? Now, my purpose in trading, like I've said, I love the mental challenge of it. It's not about making the money for me. Yes, that comes. But if you're if my sole purpose of trading was to make money, it probably wouldn't work for me because that's the superficial level. Because if all I'm thinking about is making money, my focus is on the wrong thing because that's I'm just looking at that end product, so to speak. If, the, if that's all of my, all my focus is on is to make money. So I'm not really focused on the process of trading. And, if, and also, if I don't enjoy trading as a result and all I'm interested in is making money from trading, then what happens when trading is challenging, when you do go through a losing spell or whatever? You've got to love it in order to be able to stay with it when you are going through a losing spell or you know a flat spell or whatever or whatever that's challenging you. So you have to enjoy it. But at the same time, what's your purpose? What's your calling in trading? So you get different people well, overall, we'll do trading for different things. So, yes, you might want to quit your job and become a trader, for for example. But again, you've got to really love that. And it, and if your overall life purpose is that uh, you want to quit your job because you work 12 hours a day and you want to work for yourself, um, all of those other things, but then all you end up doing is exchanging a 12-hour day for another 12-hour day sat in front of screens, if that's what you're doing with trading, then 
actually that won't sit well with you internally. So you have to ask what's your purpose, which your goals in life, um, and does and get that to marry up with what you're doing in trading. Because people do have these these um, uh, these these thoughts that they think, oh, okay, I I, I want to quit my job and I want to become a trader, and then they realise that they they've just exchanged one job for another, <laughs> and so. It, the trading needs to sit well with who you are as a person. So um, if you wanted, for example, to have more of a life because you've been working 12 hour days in your main job, then and then you want to quit that to go and become a trader. Well, that's fine, but not if you're doing 12 hour days as a trader. So you need to find that work and life balance. So coming back to it, it's trying to find a way of trading that suits who you are and your life but at the same time there has to be a purpose behind it if it's just about making money that's not good enough so for example it could be that you want to trade because um, there are other reasons it might be you want to give money away to charity or whatever it might be it might be that trading allows you facilitates other things to happen in your life so Everybody's going to have their own purpose. What's yours? Mine is that I live and breathe trading and I love the challenge of it. I love that mental challenge. To someone else, they might just want to trade a system. And it's still going to be a mental challenge, but they don't need to do all the work maybe that I do when I'm doing all my analysis, analysis and stuff. But at the end of the day, you've got to enjoy it because if you don't, you'll never make it as a trader. So have a think about what you do as trading with trading, the style of trading you do, and make sure that that fits in with who you are as a person and the life that you want to lead. Many years ago, I was much, much more um, day trading orientated, 10, 12 years ago. Um, but my life changed, you know, everyone's lives change as the years go by. And so I became someone who said, actually, I don't want to do 10 hours in front of the screens anymore. My eyes were getting tired at the end of the day and stuff. And so, and I wanted to get my life back. I didn't want to be working all of those hours. And so, um, so I, ex I changed my trading around to suit my life so I could have more time if I wanted to go water skiing in the afternoon, in the summer or whatever, I could do it without thinking, oh, have I missed some trades? And so I made that a greater transition over the years to doing more swing trading because that sat well with what I wanted from life. But it, but for some of you, it might be the opposite. It might be that you want to be in front of your screens for many hours of the day because you because that's what you want to get that buzz from. I certainly used to have that years ago. But again, everybody, and we do evolve, everyone is going to have different views on what they want and how how it fits with their purpose. But do make sure that there's some synchronicity, uh, wrong word, Charlie, <laughs> um, that there needs to be congruency between what you want in life and how you're approaching your trading. So do have a bit of a think about that. Put some comments on by all means into the into the bottom of today's uh, video and uh, welcome to any, any comments that you may have and feedback because it is really important. People get into trading and I understand I got into trading initially to make money but it has to go deeper than that. If you don't enjoy it, you've got no chance. So have a think about it. Think about how it can work for you and how it does work for you. And um, by all means, give us some feedback as well. Take care for now. Enjoy your weekend.